Hello everybody, welcome back once again to Let's Play Crusader Kings 2. I am still me, and last time we left off, Scotland kind of fell to pieces once again, and the Irish stole back Tyrone, which kicked out the Duke of Albany, and he stole Strathairn out from the hands of the Earl of Carrick. So yeah, that, that was fun. Um, yeah, so I guess continue. I mean, we, we still can't really do anything. We are still... Actually, we are very marginally stronger than the Earl of Carrick. Do I have a claim on Carrick? No. Balderdash. And he has the Earl of Dunbar as an ally as well. And he has lots and lots of... Oh, no, he doesn't. Okay. Chancellor Man. No. Oh. Darn. What claims do... I haven't got any claims. I wonder what I sent my chance to do then. Oh, I'm so confused. Anyway, let's continue. I have lots of money. I can probably afford to... Um, never mind. I do not have the technology. Somebody, Bingola Dunkeld, has been released from the Petty King of Munster's dungeon. Why do I care about this? It's the Duke's daughter, but I don't know why I care. Cape? Uh, oh! Gilpatrick, he was some random... relation to somebody, I thought. He was my spy master at one point anyway, I think, which is what he was doing in the Caliph's dungeon. The 1st of September I was allowed to move my Chancellor around, wasn't it? I can't even remember whose side we're on. We're attacking the Duke of the Isles. And that's just because we're in Scotland, that one. I really can't sing in case you haven't worked that one out by now. Holy smokes, what happened to France? I mean, apart from the fact that England stole most of it. Oh, he's still a heretic, that probably doesn't help. Ponce Gemena, the Marshal of Myrtola, and the grandson of um, Aule, the Quill Thief. Um, he wants to get married, apparently. Well, I really don't care. You're in Myrtola, or whatever that was. Crikey, so France is in a civil war. Aragon has nicked quite a lot of it. Hmm. For France. But France has basically died. England is now a superpower, in essence, because it has... I, mean, I know this is all recently conquered, but still. That's a lot of... Oh, I can move my chancellor. A lot of people. Fabricate me claims into it, please. And do it quickly. Although not too quickly, because we need to get rid of these rebels first, because I sure can't do that. We're now starting to lose the um, Dunbarian War. Even though the Earl of Ulster has already captured it. Who's the Earl of Ulster under? The King. Why is the Earl of Ulster attacking? Is he in a different war? Oh yeah, there were two wars for the Isles. I forgot about that. And Fife would be quite nice, but how many troops has he got? He's got 691, I've only got 682. I could probably rustle up some mercenaries. I mean, how many men does he have? Let's see. I mean, gold. Oh, he's got a lot of gold, too. 
I am making more money than him. But he could afford to hire mercenaries too. Well, we're beating the Galileans at any rate. So that's good. How's everyone doing? He's incapable, so he's probably going to die soon. Alweek still has lots of children. Philippe, we know about. He is apparently a drunkard. Well, that's unfortunate for him. Arnold von Zeringen, who was a heretic, apparently, a possessed heretic. And he was in my court. Why didn't I know about that? Who else in my court is a heretic? Goodness me. Take a look at France. Of course, France is going to be in a total mess because of being all heretical and everything. Oh, they've got heresy down here too. Cathar. I don't know what a holy site is. I assume that's new with a patch that came in recently. Um. Anyway. It's going to be people that don't like me, isn't it? Who are going to be the heretics? I guess not. My entire court likes me. That's quite cool. Can I change any interesting laws? I could get more money. Let's do that. More money is always good. The Nbarian war to install Colwyn in the Isles has ended inconclusively. Presumably, Colburn died. This war is still going on to install Edward. And we're still winning against the, um... Never mind, we just rebelled. Uh, the Earl of Tyrconnell has been released from the Duke of Albany's dungeon. I wonder why. Oh, he got ran he ransomed himself. What, what, why? Why did we do that? Um. Why did we just do that? That seems mildly illogical. We're losing quite a lot. I wonder why he suddenly decided to rebel. That's weird. And I'm apparently I'm really angry with him because he stole my levies. In fact, his entire court hates him. I only like him because I'm content. This guy is a bishop and likes the free investiture. Minus ninety-four percent. Could there have conceivably been a worse time to rebel? Speaking of which, ooh. what the hell's happened to England? Oxfordian War to install Prince something. Prince Edwin's claim on England. Crikey. Well, there goes England. The grand old Duke of York has split into a few bits. Um. Oh, Carrick has rebelled. Oh, of course Carrick has rebelled. He's in Albany. Anyway, a group of robbers calling themselves the Band of Brothers. Oh, I should be reading this in like an Irish accent. Shouldn't I? A group of robbers calling themselves the Band of Brothers have been brought before me. The long list of all their crimes does not put them in good light. Um. Why would I care about some petty thieves or, or they will pay a nursement to you? Oh, my wife and my brother would like milk. Um, yes. They will pay a merse- oh, rather, they will pay a merseman. I, I can't do Scottish accents, as you can probably know, tell. Oh, well, there goes York. In fact, there goes the entire rebellion. King Vigan Wild appears to have survived. What happened to... Prince... Ale, whatever it was. A 
I don't know. Uh, I don't know who they were trying to put on the phone, but I assume he must have died. Aha! We have a claim on Carrick. Excellent. Now is probably not a good time to use it because there are still these rebels here, but nonetheless. If they would have the goodness to wander off, then we'd be sorted. Oh, uh, move on to fight. <clears throat> How many levies do we both have at the moment? Six hundred ninety-one. So I have slightly less. Although, of course, I can um, raise mercenaries. Although, so can he, I suppose. Limpisa de Haring, who died better than infirm, is no longer the guardian of. Oh, my my bastard son's children, Elden of Huichi. Yep. Yeah. Not my best son, my best of half brother. Whoa, okay. Duke Con the, Quar the Quarreller accepted the king's peace officer. Peace officer, peace offer, I mean. The various dukes have been imprisoned, of course. And um, the Grand Old Duke of York has rebelled again. What's he doing now? Oh, he's joined the Oxfordian War. They really, really want this Beyond Ride chappy in, don't they? That's not at all the right person, is it? Although all the people in France appear to have calmed down, so now it's just English England that's rebelled. They really, really want this chap. He's not all that good, to be honest. Actually, he's better than this guy, so fair enough. Oh, well, this guy's a kinslayer, too. Well, that's never good. Okay, so what is going to happen to the Duke of Albany? Just wait for them to get rid of these. Wait! I just remembered, we can't declare war, can we? Because of the stupid crown law. Oh, I forgot about that. <sighs> Brilliant. And the Duke of Cornwall has been released from the King of Scotland's dungeon. What was he doing in there? He ransomed himself out, but why was he in there in the first place? Duke of Lothian, as I assume, ran... No, he just got released. Ah, finally they got rid of the rebels, although that's sort of pointless, because I can't actually attack. Unless I can start a faction to put myself... No, I can't start a faction to put myself on... In Quebec. Hmm. This is a touch unfortunate. So the Child King won. He's quite a good diplomat, actually. How is my own daughter doing? Joan McNeil. She's 24. I have two granddaughters. Ruach and... Oh, somebody died. My... Cousin died a natural death at the age of 47. Can I build anything yet? I can build some castle fortifications. Well, I may as well do that. I mean, there's nothing else I'm going to spend my money on because I can't attack anybody. Unless I decided to attack, like, Tyrone or something, but they've got... He has the Earl of Desmond on his side and he has quite a lot of people. Bleep wants to become a steward for somebody, that's nice. France is in it. In fact, I think France is actually pretty much broken. Where is the King of France now? He's up there. He's, in, he's stolen some of the HRE. Yeah, France is kind of in a mess. They really, really want Prince Robert in charge. What happened to the other guy? And they're not the drunkard king, what happened to the previous guy? Oh, he got deposed, Prince Guy the Apostle, heretic. The Duke of Aquitaine. And he's immediately rebelled. 
He's joined the rebellion that he was just fighting against. That's logical. Oh. Well, England is most definitely in a mess. Yeah, the Duke is... Never mind, the King is winning. Presumably because he has all these French levies to call on. Something just happened here. Munster just did something. We unified, I think, or something. What else is going on in the world? Pisa is still quite large. Venice has sort of nibbled away at the south of Italy. The Byzantine Empire is still in a complete and utter mess. The HRE has more or less still got hold of all its land down there. I don't care about that. Volga Bulgaria is getting quite big. Rus... Rus's name appears to have fallen apart. My castle fortifications have been built, so I shall now build some better fortifications. Because I still have nothing better to spend my money on. So the Duke of Albany is still in jail, isn't he? Yes. I wonder what's happening to him. Maybe he can't ransom himself out. No, he should be able to. He actually really likes the king. Maybe that's because he's in jail. Hmm. Peddlers selling all sorts of food, clothing, exotic spices and luxuries such as glass and jewels fill the town square, square with their wares and shouts. Uh, a couple of things I need. I don't like the merchants, but their wares are fine, or I think fairs should be banned. I will spend money on balls. I have nothing else to spend at all. As I have said multiple times now, get to that. What else is going on in the world? Well, this is a complete and utter mess. Mikey, there's a very big independence war going on in the HRV. Somebody lacks a guardian. My granddaughter Gruach. She shall be tutored by somebody good at stewardship. Eat it. Yeah. The Byzantines are actually in a war? Oh yes they are, they're in two wars. A revolt and a really, really large civil war. Okie dokie. The Holy Romans are sort of hanging on to all this. The Fatimids have kind of moved. They were up here and now they're not. They're, they're now down here. And the Najarites are here now. And the, the Ghaznavids are there. There's the Wind Desert here. The Actobis are sort of split in half by the Wind Desert. Bajamia is there. Oh no. Somebody's... Is... what? Oh, Philippe's wife died of the Great Pot. Oh, that's unfortunate. Norway, I notice, is still in a complete meh. The Duke of Trondelag wants Norway, apparently. And now my steward has annoyed the peasants. Well done, steward. You are a silly person. What we really need is a faction in Scotland for lowering the Crown Authority. But I can't even see if there is one. <clears throat> I was about to lose a bet, and although I felt inclined to cheat, I had to be just, even though it cost me some gold. Uh, okay. I now... Well, the only thing I can build now is a Shviltron training ground, so I shall build that next. That will take a while to get the money for, of course. How's this war in England doing? The King of England is still winning. That's a very large army. That's probably why he's winning. 
Is he actually attacking the right people? He should be attacking the Duke of Oxford. Yep, yeah, he's attacking the right people. Oh no, that's this is the Duke of Oxford. He needs to attack that, really, rather than messing around up there. Oh well. Eat more! No! He died comatose in bed. Boo! All of... who was it? Was it, um... Yeah, Gilmer's friends, I think they were. And, and, and rivals, I suppose. They're all dying. Ooh! Eith? Eith? Hmm. I don't know how to pronounce that. Ethane? Ethane McNeil is now legal age. She became an elusive shadow. Despite being slow. Well, I shall marry her to... Like, I could marry her to the King of Scotland. Hmm. Or a prince... I could get an alliance with the King of England. Or... Matrilineal marriage to... Hmm. The matrilineal marriage options are not quite as good. It has to be said. Let's see. I could steal their marshal and put him in here. That could be a cunning trick. That guy's a heretic. I'm torn between these two, Philip and Fulky. Let's go for Fulky. I think we just lost quite a lot of prestige, but never mind, I've got quite a lot of it. We are. Folky Kettleson has arrived at my court. Lovely jubbly. He's an aggressive leader. Sorry, Wolfio. You're sacked. Folky, you are now in charge. We can't really do technology, can we? Because we're, um... Well, we're, we're a county, and counties I don't think do. Sort of focusing. Wow, we have no military event. Counts do not generate technology points. That is the problem. So, um, let's research military tech, because honestly I need all the technology I can get. Although money is nice too. Do I have a better steward? No. Do I have a better spy master? Also no. Never mind. Though. Okay. Well. Um, the Moraeans are going somewhere. Where are they going? They're attacking the Orkneyans. Oh. Oh, excuse me, I'm just sneezing. Um, right, well, I may as well end it here. See you next time.